Hey everyone and welcome to my video on showing you how to add ROMs or ISOs to your Steam library so you can obviously launch them from Steam the same as you can with other games from say Epic Games or Uplay. Uh, I'll show you here is actually a test, I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need it. Um, but if I go in and see, I've got Assassin's Creed Odyssey from Uplay as you can see, uh, it's from my Ubisoft library. And let's see what else I've got in here. Uh, GTA, not four, but I do have five here somewhere. Multiplayer GTA five. That's obviously from the Rockstar launcher instead. Uh, actually, yeah, that's got its own folder because that's where I installed it. But Warzone is another one that's from Battle.net. Um, so yeah, you can add any EXE file basically. So if I do this, you can add Photoshop, you could add C Cleaner, or CC Cleaner even. You could add Microsoft Edge if you wanted to. I don't, you could you could add anything which is an EXE file. That is the point I'm trying to make here. Um, so obviously with that, what you could do is add emulators, but I'm not going to do that because that would be too simple. I've decided to make it a bit more difficult and see if you can add the individual ROMs and the ISOs. And I couldn't really find anything online about this, but I was able to find that you can actually create a batch file to run the files. And creating a batch file isn't difficult. It's just converting it to an EXE. And it turns out you can actually do that. And I've actually found a program which allows me to do both much quicker than you can do it on Windows. Now you could obviously just do it with Windows. It's possible to create a batch file and also convert it to an EXE without downloading any software. But there's a quicker way to do it. And for me, that is obvious to do that. And it's called Bat to EXE Converts. I'll put a download link in the description of the video. But I'm gonna open up this. There we go. And here you can create a batch file. So for this one, what we're going to do, I think we'll use Nestopia, uh, which is an NES emulator. You can use uh, Dolphin, which uses ISO. You could use Project 64. Uh, you, could, you could use any emulator as long as you can essentially run a batch file, convert that to an EXE, which you should be able to with pretty much any file, you, you would be able to do this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in CD. That's the first thing we put in, and then I actually need to find Nestopia. Now I keep this on my D drive in the emulator section, so I'm going to put the directory in here. So if I go to my converter and simply do that, I'm then going to press enter, and here I'm going to put a quotation mark, and I'm going to paste that in again, but this time I'm going to put another slash, and I'm going to put Nestopia exe like that and then obviously end with a quotation mark and then i'm going to do another quotation mark and i'm going to go into the rom section and i'm going to paste the directory again put a backslash and then we're going to choose a rom to run uh so this loads in here let's do ninja garden per se where's ninja garden uh ninja garden's here so let me just take that for example or copy the whole thing so I've done the slash ninja garden u dot nes and then end with a quotation mark and that's it that's that's how you do the batch file you could do that in a text file and save as a batch but this is easier to do so if I do this and just click save and then call it test and that's a batch file and then all you need to do is click convert I do test again you can call it something different this time if you want to but now it's saved as an exe file and it says process finished so if I run that EXE, it should, as it has done, load up Ninja Gaiden. So th this is Ninja Gaiden, obviously this is really fucking stretched, but that's not really the point. You can obviously change that in the settings. The, I, mine's just reverted back to the default settings where I haven't used it. Um, so how do you get that onto Steam? That, that's really the next question, and that's easy because I've already showed you that, essentially. You can add any .exe file, so like you could add an emulator, you can obviously now add this file. So I can add that, and obviously you can call it something different. So obviously you don't need to call it test. I can rename that and go Ninja Garden, because that's what it is. And then you can put it in any one of these. I've obviously set out some categories myself, but you could have uh, NES games and SNES games and PS2 games, whatever you want. From here, you should just be able to click play. Yeah, that's going to come up because the configuration has changed for Nestopia. That's nothing normal, uh, nothing different, sorry. Uh, but this this is running exactly how it should be. It's even got the Steam overlay in it, which I didn't know it did do because I didn't see that in any of my previous tests. But as you can see, you can run 
emulators or ROMs even through the emulators and yeah it's come up with a couldn't save configuration through Steam and I think that's pretty cool that you can do that now obviously this looks a little bit ugly and you can change this as well I'm going to show you that because I use it um, as you can see if you go through my stuff I've got this is a custom one which I've got from uh, this website I'm about to show you this one's custom as you can see it's a nice moving one uh, there's another moving one I've got this hey, look at this Zelda Ocarina of Time Online has got its own custom one and custom background custom logo I'm going to show you the website now I uh, don't need audacity let's go to Steam Grid DB and if I type in Ninja Gaiden probably going to bring up a few uh, it's actually brought up the NES game to start with here you have the grids this would be the uh, collection this is the 600 by 900 as you can see here like the artwork and also if I go to the website you've got the heroes which is the background so you can add the background you can of course make your own custom ones but if you want to download some from here uh, you could do this and also the logo as well to add it on so you can make it look really nice uh, give you an example wall zone yeah this is a custom logo i downloaded and a custom hero as they call it i downloaded and obviously this is custom as well um same here custom background custom logo so it looks like it's supposed to be there so you can do that for all your games is it time consuming yes but if you want to do it you will obviously do it um so yeah that's all i really wanted to show you that's how you can add them in you can do this with as many games and as many different emulators as you like uh, you may find quick ways you're doing it. I've only found this out today and I thought this was cool, so I thought I'd make a video and show you. Um, there might be problems that I don't know about which with certain emulators and ROMs or ISOs. I haven't tested them all. If you come across any, you know, maybe ask some questions and I might be able to help. Or maybe we can figure some shit out together, I don't know. Um, but I thought this was cool, thought I'd show you this. Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in whatever I decide to make next.